Hello. Hello and welcome by the Orchid Saga. Welcome by this unboxing. And yeah, this is going to be very, very special. I, uh, for a change, no, remember what's in this side of this box. Very, very special orchids for me, at least. Uh, something that was uh, the highest on my list. Um, so yeah, this is, uh, like I said, going to be very special. And these are coming from uh, Equagenera, from all the way from America. All the way they travel to Germany and from Germany to the Netherlands to my home so yeah this is very uh, very special and these plants <laughs> mainly do not like to uh, travel or to be disturbed as much so yeah I'm very uh, um, and I'm, uh, yeah, a bit nervous to see how they uh, they look but uh, this was the only chance I think uh, to, to get them so uh, because they are very very rarely are for uh, sale it's it's almost impossible to get them here in Europe so let's uh, open them up because they've been uh, on travel for uh, for a while I think uh, two weeks something like that I'm not completely sure so and like I said these orchids do not are, are yeah do not like to be travel uh, on transport too long are very picky so yeah but they are here so I thought this is a nice opportunity to do a very nice unboxing with you guys let me see how are we doing let's open and now this one there we are so yeah, and heat pack, that's always good, of course. We didn't have frost, as far as I know, but I'm not sure. But a uh, heat pack was in there, so that's... Uh, and it's still warm, it's still warm. So that worked very well. A invoice there. So here we go, you guys. These plants, if you imagine how long they've been on tr on transport to get here i think it's very uh, very special so here is the first one yes i'm in frame not off camera i feel a little bit damp oi i'm so nervous <laughs> i really hope they uh, did take the, the transport not too badly I even have some bark in there and here is the first one so far so good I think I see the lot I see a lot of green so that's good I think they are bare rooted that's uh I believe how they uh, do ship their orchids. Aquagenera. Aquagenera. So, here we go. Yeah. Well, we have quite some roots on there as well. Let me quickly grab a um, little... A few little pots. Otherwise, I will have the bark all over the place, of course. So here we are again, and so yeah. I even see green. Oh yeah, I have quite a lot of uh, root tips. I hope you can see them. So that's good. It's very good. Oh yeah, even more here. So, yeah, that looks good. Do we have a tag in here somewhere? Because that would be handy. <laughs> I know, I probably know which one it is. I bought three of the same and one different. Yeah, here it is. Here it is. You guys, here it comes, here it comes. Can you believe it? Miltoniopsis. Rosalie Xantia, the yellow one. 
I cannot believe it is here in my collection now. Oi, oi, oi. For years, I think five, six years, I tried to get a hold of at least one of these guys. So I saw them uh, for sale on Equigenra and I emailed them and they said they could ship it to me. They are strong enough and so far they look amazing. Absolutely amazing. For M. Miltoniopsis and with still those uh, root tips, green root tips, this is absolutely fantastic. And we have even have a new growth there. So yeah, this is beautiful. So let's open up another one. Like I said, I did order more of these. Here they are. Miltoniopsis. Because they weren't that expensive and i thought well i'm going to buy three and hopefully at least i can hopefully save one but it's, it starts uh, with a very hopeful i should say <laughs> let's open up the next one and this one yes new grows oh yeah beautiful a little bit damp, but not um, no fungus so as far as I can see. So that looks uh, good as well. And these guys do not like to dry up completely, so I think this is uh, they did very well. It's not too damp, not too wet, but damp enough to uh, maintain the roots, I believe. Well, we shall see in the next coming weeks. This one doesn't have as much root tips, active root tips on it, as far as I can see. But this one does have new growth here, new growth there, another one here. So yeah, but these roots look fine, I believe. I think they are alive, at least uh, some of them, I think. So let's put it here. and. Grab another one. This is the other one, I believe. Yes. So I will leave that one for last. We're going to do another Miltoniopsis. Just to see how this one is in what type of condition. So far, it looks very, very promising. So that is a relief. <laughs> Absolutely. So yeah, can you believe it? If these would grow on. I have the actual yellow Miltoniopsis, the Ruslii. I was uh, lucky enough to find the uh, the other yellow one. The um, let me check. I did forget the Andrea West, of course. It's behind the camera. <laughs> so and that one is doing well. So that was the other number one on my most wanted list. And this was uh, also number one. Two yellow Miltoniopsis. So I never ever thought I would have them both one day. <laughs> Just never give up, I believe. And here is another one. And also quite a lot of new growth here. Um, this one let me give you a look there's a new growth here is one starting and behind there and this one has is that a growing tip yes there's a growing tip here is a growing tip oh i'm sorry there so this one here does and in the back we have even more root tips growing tips so this one has active roots as well so that's beautiful uh yeah let's do the last one this one is also very nice i saw this one for sale i didn't even know it was it d did exist <laughs> but then it was very expensive and i was like Ma, i'm not sure i'm going to buy it and then when i found, uh, found the yellow uh, xantias i saw that they had this one for sale as well and it was way cheaper so I thought I'm going to uh, order that one as well. This one is a beautiful bulb already. I, we can see with a new growth. So that one does look very good as well. I must admit. So far so good. 
so yeah it takes a little minute to get them out but yeah that's always the case the unboxings of course uh, yeah we have quite a root system here they are a bit cold but i think they're not too cold to the touch i can feel that they uh, like i said are a little bit cold so i'm going to show you the tag in a second of course i first was uh, having a look but those roots do seem very healthy and we have root tips here as well growing tips so this one uh, this looks a little bit like slug damage to me so i will give this a good rinse of hydrogen peroxide just to be sure but and this one is looking very very healthy as well let me grab the tag so we know what we are talking about there it is well almost let me see yeah i think you can see it. this is the odontonia george mcmohan fortuna it's beautiful beautiful yellowish blooms it has so this one i thought yeah i'm going to give this a try as well so let me uh, clean this up and we will have a uh, overview of all of them so yeah here are all four of them and like i said so far so good i was a little bit afraid for uh rotting uh yeah uh spots on the leaves or something but uh, so far they do look very very healthy nicely green and all of them ha have very nice roots and three of them was very obvious they had even active root tips so yeah i think for uh, these all coming all the way from america here to uh, europe to germany and then they had to be shipped to the netherlands so yeah so far they look wonderfully well i'm absolutely over the moon with these three you guys Miltoniopsis rusulii xantia a variety Cassantia, I should say, and this is just a beautiful bonus. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's very 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 awesome to have these guys. I cannot believe it, you guys. I'm seriously, if you search for them for years and then they are just here, it's just amazing. So I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did, and of course we will do updates. What I will do now is first I'm going to. Uh, give them a, a spray with some RO water and some seaweed just a little bit of water in there I'm going to set them here on a shelf next to me on this shelf I have some room here and this is not too bright but they uh, they will get some natural light it's a bit of a dull day today but it's very nice so I don't give them a, them an overload of uh, of light of course just gently uh, gently uh, bring uh, bring the light back again on those beautiful leaves and so they can settle a little bit and maybe yeah i think maybe to, today or um, yeah i think tomorrow something like that i will start to repot them because they are already bare rooted so i can easily uh, put them in a pot they are now stressed so yeah just continue to give them a little bit more stress but then they can settle and i don't have to disturb them again so that's why I'm, what i'm going to do and then of course we will do some updates so yeah for now this is the very very special unboxing like i said i hope you enjoyed this as much as i did and still i cannot believe they are here they are beautiful absolutely fantastic so thank you for being here and of course i really hope to see you at one of my next videos bye bye